my dear students of 12th medical today we are going to discuss an important topic in our molecular genetics that is the genetic code and previously we, had, we have talked about the trans uh, this uh, transcription and prior to that we have gone through the replication of the mm, genetic material that is mostly the DNA and uh, now we have to take up in the process of uh, translation wherein, wherein you know that the particular transcript of the RNA is responsible for uh, coding of the amino acids amino acids and what is what lies there is the coding information and that is that we refer to as the genetic code and now previously during the replication and transcription a nucleic acid was copied to form another nucleic acid hence these processes are easy to conceptualize on the basis of complementarity a nucleic acid giving rise to a nucleic acid and this is easy to conceptualize on the basis of complementarity and the process of translation requires transfer of genetic information from a polymer of nucleotides to a polymer of amino acids now there does any complementarity exist between nucleotides and amino acids nor could any be drawn theoretically <coughs> And there existed ample evidences though to support the notion that change that change to support the notion that change in the nucleic acids as a genetic material was responsible for change in the amino acids in proteins. And this led to the proposition of genetic code that could direct the sequence of amino acids during synthesis of proteins. That means amino acids get synthesized <coughs> only through the coded information and that is transferred from the DNA through RNA and ultimately gets, <coughs> gets transferred into the uh, formation of the amino acids. If determining the biochemical nature of the genetic material and the structure of the DNA was very exciting, the proposition and deciphering of the genetic code was almost uh, most challenging. In a very true sense, it required involvement of scientists from several disciplines. That means the information that was to be carried through the genetic material that is RNA and transfer to uh, the formation of the on these amino acids it in a very true sense it required involvement of the scientists from and it is it was a challenging task and requires mm, the in efforts of the scientists from several disciplines physicists organic chemists biochemists and geneticists and it was George Gemau, a physicist who argued that since there are only four bases and if they have to code for 20 amino acids, the code should constitute a combination of bases. He suggested that in all, he suggested that and the code should be made up of three nucleotides. And this was a very bold proposition because a permutation combination power is power three would generate 64 codons as 4 into 4 into 4 it would generate 64 codons generating many more codons than required and providing proof that the codons codon was a triplet was a more daunting task the chemical method developed by Hargobin Khurana was instrumental in synthesizing RNA molecule with the defined combinations of bases that is homopolymers and copolymers. It is Marshall Nirenberg's cell-free system for protein synthesis finally helped the code to be deciphered 
and this video Okawa enzyme polynucleotide phosphorylase was also helpful in polymerizing RNA with the defined sequences in a template independent manner. Now finally a checkerboard for generic code was prepared with which is uh, which is as in the table like this we know that there are four bases on the top and on one left hand side of your screen you could see a U C A G and again U C A G that is uracil cytosine adenine and guanine and you can see in the checkerboard there are 16 squares in all and four four combinations of pieces per square resulting in the formation of 64 codons and 64 codons and on the right hand side you can see the position of the bases on the that is UCAG and when this uh, it was given a shape of uh, these combinations 64 codons were ultimately ultimately formed and now the cell and features of the generic code are the codon is a triplet 61 codons code for amino acids and three codons do not code for amino acids hence they function as stock codons one codon codes for only one amino acid and it is unambiguous and specific some amino acids are coded by more than one codon hence the code is degenerate the codon is read in mrna in a contiguous fashion there are no punctuations the code is nearly universal for example from bacteria to human uuu code would code for phenyl alanine phe some exceptions to this rule have been found in mitochondrial codons and in some protozoans. AUG has dual functions. It codes for methionine, methanine. It also acts as an initiator codon. So, if we are given a sequence of nucleotides in mRNA, we will, with the help of the checkerboard, we can predict the sequence of amino acids coded by the mRNA and, and this is a very important topic from the examination point of view that is the genetic goal hope you are you understand it well thanks